Aloha. In order to understand what a local area network is, it's often helpful to think about the process by which a message travels from one computer on a local area network to another. A message may start in one computer in a network, say perhaps the computer you're sitting at in a classroom or in an office or your home, and then you send a message to another computer. It's not important what this message is. All we need to worry about is that there is a message being sent. So the computer creates the message, and then it needs to send it out onto the, whatever is connecting it to the rest of the network. In this case, it's probably a piece of cable with a plastic coating on it that's plugged into the side of the back of your computer. There, where that cable plugs in, to the computer is uh, called a NIC or network interface card and the job of the NIC is to translate the message from the computer's language to the common language of the network. Yeah. So the NIC translates the message and then sends it out onto the media or in this case the cable. The message travels across the cable uh, and then it arrives at a central computing device, a networking device, which the purpose of the networking device is to direct traffic. It basically says, oh, I see there's a message from computer A to computer C. So it knows that there's another cable plugged into it that runs to computer C, and it sends the message out along that cable. Computer C gets the message. Its NIC translates the message from the common language of the network to its own language and then it reads and processes the message. Then it can send a message back to computer A if it needs to. Okay, so that's the general process. The computer creates a message, it gets translated by the NIC, sent out along the cable to a networking device. Uh, in local area networks, this is often a switch, and then it's directed by the switch down the right cable to another computer, translated by that computer's networking uh, interface card, that computer's NIC, and then uh, processed by that computer. Okay, so that's the process, and in this process we've looked at a couple of pieces. We've looked at uh, local area networks being made up of computers. Uh, each computer has a NIC, and there's also some sort of transmission media. And then we have these connecting devices like switches. So those are the basic components. Now, the computers that are kind of on the ends of the network can be desktop PCs, they can be laptops, they can be handheld devices, uh, smartphones, they can be printers, they can be any variety of instruments um, that are designed to communicate over the network. So when we say a network, a local area network is made up of computers, we want to think of computers in very broad terms. Okay. So each computer has some sort of interface that allows it to translate its uh, messages into the signals uh, for the local area network. The media, <coughs> excuse me, the medium could be um, cable, the plastic cable like you'll find in a classroom. Uh, this is called Ethernet cable or uh, unshielded twisted pair cable, we'll call it. It's copper cable with plastic coatings on it and the wires inside are twisted around each other. It could be fiber optic cable, uh, fine uh, threads of glass or plastic across which light passes over. The medium could be radio waves and the, um, the interface of the network could be uh, antennas on your laptop and the connecting device in the middle could be a wireless access point. Okay. So, but all local area networks have computers or computing devices and each of these devices has a NIC and each NIC connects um, or sends the signals out over the medium cables or wireless uh, radio waves and uh, the medium uh, co uh, connects the device to some sort of networking a device like a switch or a wireless access point with antenna on it and then the function of the networking devices is to route traffic over the medium so that it reaches the final destination.
you have any questions, please let me know. Mahalo.